Today we're hosting a USA Climbing regional competition for collegiate climbers. It's Viva la Subida, which means long live the send or something like that in Spanish. The host school for it is University of Texas at San Antonio. Most of the schools represented are from the state of Texas. Yeah. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. Student athletes compete at anywhere from five to ten competitions a year and all of them are hoping to go on to collegiate nationals. If you place well at local regional competitions, you're able to move on to regionals and then on to nationals. It is UTSA's first climbing competition. We're really excited to host it. UTSA students volunteer their time to help run the competition and we have about 20 students that came and helped out. enjoy getting to judge competitions. I yell a lot. <laughs> I plan on losing my voice tonight. That's great. <laughs> try to add enough complexity to it so that it may be really difficult to read or just have some powerful moves that first go may be really tough and also we like to mix in holds that hopefully they're not familiar with so that they're not sure exactly where to aim for. set that to be pretty much vertical wall. Um, so the volumes make it just slightly more overhung, but once you get on top of them, the finish feels a little bit slabby. So I was trying to make more of like a layback style up the rails, but then once it traversed the middle of the wall, I really wanted it to be a balancey move that you had to really just kind of trust. You have a really good foot, but it's also a balancey high reach up to the finish hold with two really bad crimps and they're really not even crimps, it's more just like thumb catches just under the finish hold. And they're there just enough to give you balance once you step up into them, but they're not good enough to hold on and really establish on. So you have to just balance against them and then make a somewhat desperate reach for the finish. Oh my gosh! 
final number two. I wanted that one to be more of just a show of power. So it's on a, a pretty well overhanging wall. There's not a hold on there that's just really great. The pocket is probably the best hold on there. But again, it's, a, it's a, like a two finger pocket that they're having to match on. And then they're moving up to, to pretty big slopers and pinches and with it being the women's final, a lot of the time, it's smaller hands, so pinches are harder, so it's really just gonna test their pinch strength and also their compression. Moving up to some big, what I really wanted to be like a big showstopper move, which was stepping up into the undercling that's up on the high volume. And then for women's number three, it is just as pushy as it is pulley. It worked out really well and somewhat accidentally. I didn't know it was gonna be so pushy, but because you're in a, a dihedral, which is like an inward corner, you're able to, to kind of fold yourself into the middle for balance, but then have to push off of big slopers and reach to mostly other slopers that are pretty far away. So while you can kind of find a, some rest while you're in like a mantle position, you're still having to find that point of pushing and pulling where you can get up to the next one and then either use high feet or keep doing a lot of mantles all the way up. And so that was kind of my thought with that one is that I wanted it to be a push-pull the whole way through. And I will say that the first move on it is, is pretty burly and hard to read. So if, if they can muscle through it, it'll be pretty tricky, but there is a nice move that if you get a high foot into a drop knee, it really works out well because it puts you in good position. But again, that's just part of what we're doing with the, with the nuances of setting for a final is we're trying to get something that they may not immediately see or recognize the move to do. Um, even though once you figure it out, it's really not, it's not that hard of a move, but it's, it's hard to read and hard to figure out.